Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, you're gonna learn how to create a sticky menu. As you see, sticky menu is a menu that follows you as you scroll down the page. So you can see the navigation bar all the way as you scroll down. Here can be displayed your logo or the name of your website or whatever you want to put in there. Okay, now let me show you what plugin you will need to create the sticky menu. You will need the plugin called My Sticky Menu. You can find it if you type in the name of this plugin in one word and you're gonna find it in the WordPress plugin directory. Now let's go to menus. You can find this panel if you go to appearance, menus, and here we need to create a new menu that you want to make sticky. Let's call it sticky menu tutorial and let's press create menu. Display location set as main, press save and now what you need to do is to add items to your menu. So I added three items to my menu and I press save. So now let's go back to our page and have a look at the menu that we have created. So as you see, here are three items that I have added, but the menu is not sticky. And the reason is that because we haven't enabled this function for this menu. And to enable the sticky menu effect, all we need to do is to go to developer tools in your browser it's f12 and i'm gonna find and select the container where my navigation menu is located i'm gonna click on it and find the css class of this container in my case it is site header and i will need to copy it and go back to the dashboard and go to the settings and under the settings menu i will find my sticky menu i'll click on it and now i need to find sticky class line like the first one and by default it says navbar but we need to go ahead and paste the css class that we have copied the css class of the container where our navigation menu is located don't forget to leave this dot in here because this dot states for the CSS classes. Here you see that you have some style settings, some advanced settings, so we can disable this menu on these specific pages. But for now, we're gonna press save changes and go back to our page, refresh it and see that now our menu is sticky. So now you know how to create a sticky header on WordPress. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.